What's going on guys, RGT85 here, and welcome to another episode of What Is, which is a show where I like to spotlight indie games across any platform, just any indie games that I get sent that I'm playing that I find interesting that I want to share with you guys, I like to do a little video on them, and today's video is a game called Immortal Redneck, which is a really interesting title, and uh, I didn't know quite what to expect when I first started playing this game. As you can see, I've played it for about 40 minutes, roughly, and, you know, the first five minutes or so, uh, I wasn't too, you know, impressed with it or whatnot but I just kind of kept playing it as I was laying in bed last night and I ended up really enjoying the game so I kind of just wanted an excuse to play it some more and basically show you guys what immortal redneck is all about so the story goes you're this redneck guy who goes on vacation and uh, you go to Egypt and like some mummies and Egyptian stuff uh, attack you and then you're put into like these pyramids and you have to fight your way out like it's very silly but one thing I do want to note is the game does support gyro controls so you could see you know you can you know that's actually pretty cool a lot of games don't really support gyro controls this game does so uh, I just spawned basically um, I'm now alive I came out of this little King Tut looking dude here and this is sort of the area where you level up your character so every time you play the game it's a randomly generated sort of roguelike uh, setting so every time you go into the uh, pyramid there's three different pyramids they're different and the pyramids have different floors so you're a attempting to get to the top floor, fight the boss, and then move to the next pyramid. Uh, so dying is actually sort of a good thing in the game because it allows you to come to this skill tree section. And in the skill tree section, you can level up your character so that that way when you go back into the game, you're stronger than you initially were. So I've been doing some basic uh, skill tree things, you know, just trying to get my character a little bit stronger. As you can see, there's attack upgrades, better ammo. You can get some sort of power-ups, uh, defense upgrade, health upgrade, critical percentage upgrade and critical damage upgrade and then of course the skill tree you know goes on from there so basically what we're going to do is I don't know what this is yet probably some sort of shop I, I'm not sure how to access that yet but basically we are going to play uh, a temple here the pyramid yes I have to give up all my gold but you get gold pretty easily uh, in the game and it's it's a really strange game it kind of reminds me a bit of a uh, power slave on the saturn because that's the only like egyptian themed uh first person shooter i can think of and unfortunately that's a game i don't own i need to i need to track down a copy of it i think there's actually a japanese version of that game too and usually the japanese version of saturn games are cheaper but i haven't i haven't managed to find one um at a decent price or even like one in general on ebay so power slave that's a game you guys should look for all right we are on the first floor here and like i said this is randomly generated every time so there's no real um way to know uh where to go or what to do so you could see here there are two different doors on this main level and there may be more doors upstairs there is a map uh, i switched items okay i'm an idiot wrong button so there is a map here and basically you're looking for the second floor door you want to get through the first floor uh you can do that by either just exploring or you could go on a preset path uh with that in mind i just like to explore that's where i think a lot of the fun comes in the game and plus you can find different weapons and things like that uh, enemies will drop weapons so you see that bar at the top of the screen that's basically telling you um, how many enemies are left there's not like a number and each room has a different uh, amount of enemies and different types of enemies so you basically have to get that bar down to nothing and then um, you are done with that room you can leave the room right now the room is locked um, I'll try to show you that so like that door we just came in there is is now locked and i'm just gonna mask him. bust out the shotgun so we just picked up some gold the blue is ammo the uh if anyone, if anyone drops anything red that is health um because health and ammo are important obviously and you can see the characters are sort of um over the top but i like that i like that it's not a it's not a game that takes itself very seriously but it sort of has like authentic you know sort of authentic egyptian um themed stuff jeez louise i am not playing very well and then there's boss battles as well uh in the game when you get to the top of the pyramid going very well i need some health dude give me some health this room is 
cleared. Anything in here. And you can see, um, aesthetically, you know, graphically, it looks, it looks decent. A little bit blurry. Um, you know, maybe I'm just spoiled by games like Doom. Uh, I was playing this a lot in handheld mode last night. And there is, there is a bit of a noticeable blur when you're playing in handheld mode. Um, it wasn't anything, like, detrimental to the game or anything. I, I obviously adjusted to it, um, pretty quickly because I just kind of kept playing the game. But, you know, it's not the best-looking game in the world, but, uh, the frame rate is very smooth, and the gameplay is very smooth as well. So, you know, that's really all that matters in a, uh, in a first-person shooter. So, I guess we got a dead end there, so let's check out this area. Dude, somebody dropped some health already. Or a weapon or something fun. There's a lot of weird weapons in this game, too, that you end up uh, picking up off of enemies. Basically just killing an enemy, and then you get a different sort of weapon. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A little bit of health, finally. It feels a lot like an old-school uh, FPS game. You know, it's very fast. It's very fluid. You're constantly constantly moving, constantly shooting enemies and stuff like that. Definitely has an old-school feel to it. But I don't know. There's just something about it that's just it's very satisfying when you're playing this game. Like, when you clear out a room, like, you feel like you've accomplished something. And then you move on to the next room. So I like I like that about the game. I think that's... That's a big positive. Uh, the controls are pretty smooth. Like I said, it does have gyro control if you're into that. Um, I know a lot of people really like gyro. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh. Oops. Load. Eek. Sniper beams, scary. We'll go into this little mode here where you can sort of throw uh, more ammo at once, like a little power up mode. And that's another thing that you can improve upon in your skill tree so that you have different power and um, that lasts longer things like that right okay oh, if that dude would have dropped some health out of me oh this room looks dicey oh wait this is a good room tesla coil tesla coil see like here we go like we got we got a tesla coil gun okay so let's check this out are there any I don't know. If, what did I drop? The pistol? That's oh, fine. Nothing going on. Oh, there's a door. Cool. So yeah, like I said, there's a bunch of different guns um, that you, you get uh, through playing the game. I, I've never had this one. Bad for a little you know, uh, pistol. Oh, I dropped my shotgun. That kind of sucks. No. I'm gonna die. You can jive. I don't. Do we? Yeah, we came in from up here. So let's see if there's a door down here. And there is. And it is the second floor. All right, cool. So we've found the second floor. So now we're going to go to the second floor of the pyramid, thus advancing in the game. Like I said, I believe it's three tiers in each pyramid. And at the top of the pyramid is your boss character. So we're making good progress here. We're making good progress. And that is interesting. So... Back to my original theory, you don't have to follow a uh, set path. Um, if you can figure out where the door is, 
quickly, you can just go straight to the door. Obviously, it's more luck-based since everything is randomly generated, but still cool to know. Eek! On my face. That health. Oh. Oh god. Ah! And we died. So you can sort of see how everything works. Um, and then when you die, uh, I'll show you. It brings you back to that main area where you uh, can equip your different things on your skill tree and whatnot. And then you're thrust back into a completely randomly generated pyramid. So I like, I like that about the game. I feel like the game has a lot of replay value because of that. If you dig... Um, so now we have 530 gold to uh, boost everything up. So we'll do some health upgrades. And like I said, the saves to your character as well. So eventually you're going to have like this super powerful character that, you know, you could just... Ooh, a free weapon. I like that. Uh, you, eventually you're going to have this super powerful character who will be able to take everything out. But you have to keep playing the game in order to get to that point. So if you dig the aesthetic, if you dig the setting, if you dig randomly generated... Uh, levels and stuff like that i think this is a really good game it's a game that i've been playing and really enjoying as you can see i had a pretty good time playing it and i'm gonna enjoy you know figuring out how strong i can get my character and how far i can get in this game because i don't know it's a lot of fun so this is a mortal redneck on the nintendo switch uh a really cool game i definitely suggest you guys check it out and thank you guys for checking out this video if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and thank you for watching this video if you really enjoyed it make sure you check out the description box down below we got links to different stuff social media patreon t-shirts all sorts of ways to keep up to date with the world of rgt85 and i will catch you guys on the next video later